लेट्स गो टू अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑरेंज जूस हु डजेंट ड्रिंक इट आई मीन आई ड्रिंक इट आई हैव प्रॉब्ली यू नो आई बाई इट एवरी वीक एंड आई नो दैट रिसेंटली आई हैव सीन द प्राइस इज गोइंग अप फॉर ऑरेंज जूसेस वाई बिकॉज ऑफ बैड वैदर एंड recently there was um uh, in in uh, florida there was this nasty uh, storm and and uh, the hurricane ian and, and nicole that uh, fell around 2022 and then there was this late freeze around the same year which literally devastated the crops there uh what they are uh, predicting is around a 51% decline from prior year in in production so if the production is down right it's not just united states uh we also import orange from other countries like brazil and mexico they have their own problems as well uh they have their own uh, uh issue with bad weather and less crops and etc it is going to impact uh the prices and why it is important yeah i mean yes the juice prices will go up but there are some companies which can actually benefit from it for example coca cola right so their brand if i'm not uh, mistaken is minute made uh and then you have pepsi they also are one of the main producer and distributors of um orange juice then you have dole Uh, a company which deals in packaged fruit juices etc so you may see some benefit uh, that these stocks will have uh, right now let's let's look at uh, where the xlp which is essentially the staples sector is headed and may also look into the stock prices of uh, coca cola and what outlier dashboard is telling us so right now xlp is literally in downtrend i mean there has been lot of pressure you see the uh, blue price uh, oscillator which is essentially has uh, it tells the 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 direction direction of where the price is headed so it is going down so what i am seeing here is there is a correction that is happening in in staple sector not only staple sector if you look here in the outlier dashboard pretty much all the uh sector is impacted with recent uh downtrend you talk about s&p 500 you talk about dow then discretionary financial you know there was a recent downgrade uh that happened like for around top 10 banks not top 10 banks but 10 banks were impacted by it uh the financial sector is in 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 correction right now same with you know staples industrial real estate everything is right now uh, in this uh, downward uh, spiral uh, so personally i would i would just just wait for some time uh, this is just me um, and even if i look at coca cola right so it has this downward pressure right now and if i look at investor fear and greed right now it's still in that greed zone i mean i like to get in when i'm going long to identify when the investor fear is high Uh, which is represented as these red uh, zones uh, because uh, i prefer to buy when everybody is 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 fearful and i try to take profits when everybody is greedy so it is very very easy for me to find out exactly where the market is at where where investor fear and greed is at for each stock and etf so that's how i can uh, make my decisions very easily uh so again thank you all for joining uh it was great uh talking to you today and uh, i'll see you next week on tuesday thank you